Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great Monday. So we're back with some Twitch news. Uh, I know I've been covering a lot of Twitch stuff lately, but that's because that's where a lot of things have been going on. Uh, Darkside Phil has been rebanned after he came back. False DMCA and some other things he's thinking. So he's was reapproved to come back onto the platform and then banned again. But that's not what today's story is about. Today's story is about a miner gave away $20,000 of his parents' money to Twitch streamers. Now, if you're these this kid's parents, uh, I have a question for you. How in the hell do you not realize that your kid has given away $20,000? Shit, my parents would have recognized if I gave away 100 of their dollars. Either you're just really, really rich and not paying attention to your credit card charges or you're, you're just not a good parent. And I mean, who gives their kid access to a credit card? Now, I know back in the day, those of us who got on smartphones early and parents got smartphones early, you might have done some in-app purchasing and stuff like that for uh, games you played. And then your parents got mad at you and beat you. No, but seriously, they probably got mad at you. You were grounded, whatever. <clears throat> but this kid, this kid gave away $20,000 of his parents' money. A post on Twitch subreddit is garnering a lot of attention as a parent claims their child has spent almost $20,000 of their savings on Twitch donations and subscriptions over the course of 17 days. Oh, this wasn't... This wasn't a short amount of time. This kid went on a Twitch e-girl spending spree. God only knows how you spend that much money. According to the poster, they managed to get a list of some of the streamers the child has subscribed to and donated to, which include a couple of athletes as well as some other super popular streamers. Many who are familiar with Twitch know that there are many ways that viewers can support their favorite streamers. Almost streamers will encourage their viewers that simply following or watching their stream is enough support. Some viewers will contribute money in multiple ways, include sharing bits, subscriptions, and donations. And, I mean, depending on who he's following, this kid could have been made to feel less important because he didn't donate we've seen it multiple times with twitch uh streamers who basically belittle people who can't spend five to ten dollars a month it's been all over the place it seems like reddit user Terracum's child wanted to be one of the latter of those supporters and in a post on the twitch subreddit they stated their child had spent almost 20k using a debit card on subscriptions and donations cleaning my, <laughs> cleaning out my bank accounts without their knowledge or permission it doesn't seem as if this was a one-time donation but a series of mini donations uh, the post said exactly what they said. No response from customer service in over two weeks. No response to certified mail to the CEO or Amazon legal. Does anyone know if I can get this money back or how to get a response? The comment section, thankfully, seems to be extremely helpful that the user should claim them as fraudulent transactions with their bank. However, this may not even be possible, according to a few Reddit users who say this would be considered friendly fraud and might not be covered under the chargeback policy. Twitch often encourages streamers to wait a few months before spending any money made through donations in the event that a chargeback occurs. Hopefully the streamers who receive this money won't be affected too terribly. Man, fuck the streamers. What are you? No. Uh, Gamerant, I'm sorry. The people who are affected are the streamers? No, it's the parents who just lost $20,000 in savings. While the full identities of the streamers haven't been shared, nor the amount of money spent on each channel, the Reddit user did share that some of the streamers include players in both the NFL and NBA. Yeah, like they need the kids' money, or the rather the parents' money, as well as some other incredibly popular streamers. Probably some of those girls that this kid really, really likes. So theoretically, they might not be as dependent on these donations as other streamers might be. No, I don't care how dependent the streamer is. They do not have rights to that money because it was done fraudulently by a child. And this is the problem 
with Twitch and these people pushing the mindset that you're more important if you donate. These streamers need to be willingly or need to willingly give back the money if possible to help this family out because obviously they were not approved. You should be the bigger person in this situation if you're the streamer. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Check out my story fire. It's AG Luck over there also. Uh, and throw a like, a comment, and share the video because this is a pretty funny one that parents wouldn't realize over 17 days that their kid was just blowing through their money. Anyways, guys, hope you're having a great Monday. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.